it's a classic story and it's a sad and tragic story but it's one that begs for understanding and hopefully can be a catalyst for change because it is becoming more and more commonplace in today's society. It happened a few weeks ago and if you missed it it's time that you heard about it because it's something that we should all learn from. 16 year old boy Ethan Couch is driving along he's obviously drunk there's a crash four people are dead two more are injured he's brought up for manslaughter and the judge judge Gene Boyd gives him a slap on the wrist ten years probation and basically he has to live in a rehabilitation center which is a glorified country club he was found to have three times the legal limit of alcohol in his system he had Valium in his system he had THC in a system which is the ingredient in marijuana that is responsible for psychological change it was obviously not just an accident it was a crime but the judge said that he could go free ten years probation let him get some help which will cost half a million dollars and that's enough why because the defense team was brilliant and they called it affluenza you heard it correctly affluenza you see he came from an affluent home he had a rich upbringing and he never learned that there are consequences to your actions his parents their parents spoiled him they gave him everything so he wasn't aware that when you did something you have to pay the price for that and since he never learned it he wasn't really legally responsible the judge bought the argument and thus the verdict isn't that shocking typical kind of classical answer in today's society he's not responsible for his actions he never learned the consequences knowing the law is not enough and what is the judge's sentence what is the judge's cure for this malady it is the exact same thing as the sickness itself more spoiledness more actions that teach him that you do not indeed have to pay consequences for the things that you do I think that it is absolutely so unjust and so criminal that the verdict came down as it did and it's a reflection on today's society that says that it really doesn't matter what you do you're not really responsible for your actions because you have excuses I never learned otherwise I think it's a travesty. It's a mockery of the judicial system, and it's something that we should all learn from. The Torah tells us that we must be and we are held accountable for our actions. You know what you're doing. He was in trouble before with the law. He was certainly totally irresponsible, and he should pay the price. And some people say, well, that won't bring back the people, you know, that argument. That won't bring back the, the injured and the dead people in the accident. He probably won't learn from the experience anyway. To me, justice is justice. And justice was not served here. Something to think about.